So if we want to consider how to optimally harness the tumor microenvironment to improve cancer therapies, we need to break down this very broad and complex question into a series of smaller questions. So we need to begin by understanding whether cells and components of the microenvironment are enhancing or rather interfering with the current standard of care therapies, for example, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy. And if it's the latter, we need to know if that microenvironment mediated resistance is pre-existing and intrinsic, or is it rather acquired, so an adaptation in response to that standard of care therapy. And this is really critical to, to understand in terms of the drug sequencing or the, the order in which we would want to administer a therapy directed against the microenvironment. And then we have the question of which cells to target and how to do it. Do we want to try and deplete tumor promoting immune cells or instead aim to restore their tumor suppressive functions? And I think we can end with one illustrative example that I think has considerable promise, um, which is a combination of immunotherapy with anti-angiogenic drugs um, to modulate the tumor vasculature and to enhance the infiltration of beneficial immune cells, which has been evaluated in literally hundreds of clinical trials right now. However, I think in the end, the ultimate answer to this very complex question will need to come from a deep and really comprehensive systems level analysis of the tumor microenvironment of each organ site and each cancer type, because there's no one size fits all response to this. The recognition of the microenvironment also evolves dynamically with cancer progression and also with therapeutic intervention. Thank you.